sometimes looks like it had been put together by a six-year-old with an erector set. What is this? This is the carbon fiber piece. What are you doing? What are you doing? And this way is... Has there ever been anything so light before? No, I don't know so. what you're talking about. What are you There's talking about? It doesn't too. make sense. What are you talking about? Me, What are you talking about, me, And the solar You are too funny. There are 12,000 of them. These solar cells make the surface of the wing. So they're not glued on the surface. They are the surface. And these cells capture the energy of the sun and transform it into electricity. <laughs> and then this electricity go simultaneously to the engines and to the batteries and then we reach the next sunrise and we capture the sun again and we can continue theoretically forever. Yeah. Almost all the energy created by the cells ends up being used by the engines compared to car engines that can waste 70% of the energy provided. During the day, excess energy is stored in batteries, batteries that are unusually efficient the card says all the materials can be used for more practical applications. If we can fly in a solar airplane like Solar Impulse with no fuel, just on solar power, then all the technologies here can of course also be used in the daily life for cars, for houses, for heating systems, cooling systems and so on. While the technology was being fine-tuned, Andre spent months inside a simulator to learn how to fly the plane himself. Then, <laughs> short flights to and from a military airbase in Switzerland. 